Signs of mind, talk loud enough so you can, so you can hear. Um, so someone is old on the and I'm going to volunteer. This is unscripted. So I'm not going to do anything. I've not channeled Fernandez before. Um, I don't even know her. I just know her. Um, we are. We live in the same area, um, but no, have not done any of this. To make that clear, absolutely yes, we're going to go for the first time. And first time channel someone's soul calling live. Um, and I think we are equally comfortable as nervous. So, um, On the way, would someone and you're just going to be fly on the wall in the room with us, observe. Um, and I'm not going to connect with Facebook or anybody or anyone who is watching it now, um, before any session. I can only connect to love, light, God, uh, specifically, and then myself, um, and then specifically plunging myself. The room, um, with Grand and I will be working session with with me. Like surrounded by goodness, love. Okay. Um, calling. So, soul calling is the reason why your soul came into your body during this lifetime. Um, that has a choice to whether live out their soul calling or not. So it. Um, or or express. It'll be coming through my words. It doesn't spin. It'll be through my language. Um, I don't. There's nothing. <laughs> it's primarily phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> so, um, and we'll get emotional. So there's available. So I, I recommend if you're Next, um, what else do I usually um when you are hearing I will connect to your soul. So if I have to think about um oh wow I have the gift and she's so amazing, oh my god, like if your soul and your soul is speaking through me. Okay. Um have that as a concept and I I recommend after you hear the soul calling and I'll give you the recording like I do all the time. Um I want you to turn on what are you saying? I'm going to turn this over to you. It in black and white on paper helps to also conceptualize it because sometimes being in the moment and feeling the energy of your soul for the first time. Um, and you know that you may understand what's coming through and you may, it may take a little bit to understand. Um, this isn't. Iron class, what you're going to have to do from now on. Or, like, how can I be the best me? How can I allow this part of me to shine through in every aspect of my life, whether it be with your children or with a husband or whatever you decide to do with your life? It's like, how can I do as this brilliant, most beautiful part of me all the time? And you may, well, you may already be doing it. You know, some of this stuff you may be like, oh yeah, I got this. Like, I've known this my whole life. Like, of course. Other times you may be like, I do not know what they're talking about at all. <laughs> and that is that's perfectly fine, right? Um, so no obligation. When I am no, no obligation, you're like, oh, I have to know. Um, when Paul is speaking through me. Because it is like your soul saying, I came here to do this. I will, I need to I need you to know that I am uh, I will it's I, I am soul. If I am saying if the words of me are coming out, that could pertain to God, your spirit, angel, a collective energy of whole that is always guiding you, supporting you, loving you, uplifting you, that sort of thing. 
So when it pops, it's full. When it, it's weaved, it's full. Did I just like put way too much on your mom? <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Awesome. I'm not usually like sitting so close to you. <laughs> uh, I can turn off. No. <laughs> I just love you so much. Oh. All right. So. It's not the channel, but yeah, I have it like gotten to channel someone that like means so much to me. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. judgment about ourselves. No lie, your soul can. I will say no in my mind's eye. Okay. Is my signal. Expectation is starting in your head. Now, all the way up to the elbows. Down. Down at your throat. That is your indicator that I stole and So when you feel like, oh my God, that's crazy. And that you are hungry, and that you haven't had enough. And here, present with you. Communicate to do, to be. Remember this the next time that you start feeling in your hands, wanting to move, that there's some buzzing, there's have to be. So this is why painting, crafting, baking, meeting, bread, meeting, that's why it feels so good to do this with your hands because the energy of me in your hands, it works its way up. But this is your indicator. So whenever you feel like, oh, I have to, I have to move, I have to be doing your hands start. And then that's your time to communicate with me with asking questions. Because then, then that's your indicate, oh, I'm, I'm also my soul. My mind, body, soul, all, all, all the lines. I'm connected with you. Okay, cool. This should actually help you to breathe easier. So, uh, I mean, there's a moment, and it feels like your ears, and like the sound is like. It's like it's opening. That's when we 
are ready for questions about my life, about the bigger, broader topics and subjects that you have that you need to answer in your body. It connects so many questions. We suggest that you either write those questions down when you start to feel that almost like your your ears are just like, oh dream that's your time. Sometimes it's like totally in a inappropriate times to do such things because you know you might be in the shower, you might be in the, might be in the middle of uh changing diaper and all of a sudden you feel it, you're like Many people ask, what is my gift? Your gift is the way that you communicate with the indicator is who I feel. Feel with my body. Oh, soul is telling me there's pain, there's coldness, there's there's movement in my body. Oh, okay, that's indicator of soul. So I feel. Um, so also be aware that you are you will be. You have a gift to connect with others and feel what's going on with them. This can be helpful mm, even with your own children because if something is off with them, you can simply just talk and you'll receive soul from soul, tapping to soul. You're like, what's going on? What's going on with this? Little one. Sarah doesn't want to say names for your protection. So, what's going on with this little one? Soul. Soul will tell you because you can connect. You'll feel the energy. Wow. So, then your gift is then to feel. You can feel it. Sarah's bias in this because that's her gift. And she's anybody could do. But not everyone who's granted with this gift because it's whatever sounds most beautiful to you. Some people have a sense or understanding. So that should be clarifying to you on what your gifts are and how you receive divine information and how you can begin to connect with us, me, and do this more often. This really shouldn't be new to you. You explain. Why did you come into your Fernandez box? Thank you so much. Are you ready to share them? Why did you Fernandez body? Are three things that I value most. <laughs> love. I came to this body. I came to this body <laughs> to drive fast, live free, stand up for what I believe.
I came in with my foot down the pedal. I take corners. I'm not afraid to go off. And no one is going to ever tell me and put me in a cage. I can't. I can't. And there are people that I'm not willing to step up. I stand up for what I believe is true. And every time I go, I try to go against the grain or not being so be being more accommodating. away from my soul, my own truth. I abandon what I know is right and good. And that is what we are bringing to the mental mind body awareness right now. That is even safer. Now the how, yes, we'll figure out the how you'll be revealed to you, but it's, it's you know, this awareness. So there's three stages of growth and there's awareness, understanding, and knowing. And there's awareness now that I saw hands and now it's like, you need to do drive. And hand up for Believe. It's saying yes to those three things. It's saying yes to being me. So, human doing that because then you think of the ramifications and complications of actually being me. Reassure you of really because life is always energy, it's always flowing, it's always changing. But what we want to remind you today is that your soul came to your body to live these three bodies to be your soul. We're reminding you. Allow this to become an understanding of what that means for you. Begin to ask so soul as you and so will say. Soul saying to Sarah right now, you're in a damn good job. Don't put so much pressure. I think you're doing a good job. Give yourself some grace. Give yourself some time. Attention on receiving all that support and love and forgive yourself. 
it has been And we ask you to live free. We release any guilt, shame, abandonment. We release that now. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 